So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. Let's go let the chickens out. I've been making YouTube videos for seven years and every summer, I'm pretty sure I always say, this is the hottest one yet. But friends, I'm serious this time. This is the hottest summer I can remember. It's terrible. Better shut this off first. It's like most of you are outside. I think I got one that's being broody in there. We'll have to go check on her. Now there out there is something I need to fix. I've been meaning to all summer. And as you can see, I've not done it yet. The bottom of the gate, or the door rather, or whatever you want to call it, gets hung on all the wood chips in the chicken run. I need to put me a solid piece of white oak right there and make like a threshold and shorten the door by about four inches. And then hopefully I won't trip on it every time. But I probably will. All right, looks like we got 10 of them out here. That must mean four of them are still in the chicken house. And I know before you guys say anything, I do need to finish up the siding on the chicken house. I'll probably do it this fall. It's too hot to work out here, guys. I'm telling you, it's just terrible. My hats are off to all you guys out there working construction in this hot sun because I tell you, it's terrible. But we will finish this probably in the fall and I've also got to double the size. Watch out, Mr. Wasper. Where are you going? Probably got a nest up there. What was I saying anyway? So uh, I got to double the size of the chicken run. She's wanting to have a larger chicken run for him for the winter. So that's coming up also. And when we do that, I'll finish up this side. Well, it's not as hot in here. I got an exhaust fan that keeps this place kind of cooled down a little. And just as I thought, we got three in here doing their job. We got some eggs in there also. I'll check on you ladies later. Gonna be doing some saw milling today, friends. Let's jump in the 754 and grab some cherry. got several cherries to work on this week and this one on the top I think is going to be a good one. Keyword is think. That's a good sized cherry right there. Check it out. An eight footer and I'm guessing about 20 inches on the diameter. I could be wrong. I'll run this one up to the sawmill friends and I'll be right back. If we can get this one right here in the front. Probably take about three up there, then we'll get started. I uh, didn't get a good bite on that side. I'll try again. There we go. If you're wondering why I'm doing this in the tractor and not the track loader, it's because we had a bunch of rain last night. And that track loader, I think, would mess up the ground pretty bad. It's pretty soft down here. I'll run this one up to the mill and I think I'll come back and grab one more. grab one more and we'll be one more step closer to sawing today. I got one more thing to do before we fire up the mill. So we'll drop this off at the mill and that will give me three logs to get started with today. But before we start milling, I've got to do some lumber sorting. I've got a bunch of cherry on the outfeed table. I think I'll use the track loader for that though, because it's got the pallet forks on it. 
And over at the sawmill, unlike the log yard, it's not too muddy. If you guys don't care, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. For some reason, YouTube told me recently that really helps these videos. And it don't cost you nothing. Just hit that little button right there. Appreciate it. friends who's ready to saw up some nice cherry i know that i am i've been looking forward to this log for a long time it's an eight footer and the diameter on the operator's side i can't remember what i guessed earlier is uh, 22 inches i can't remember what i said earlier i think i said 24 maybe i don't know down here on the other side is uh the same thing so no taper in this log a little bit of a bump in the middle but not too bad. There's no cat faces. I don't see any large knots, any defects or nothing like that. It looks really good. Now this right here is a customer log, friends. Although I did try to buy it when he delivered it, but he wouldn't sell it and I don't blame him. This is a really nice cherry. He brought me about 1500 board feet. We're gonna be sawing these into four quarter boards. That's an inch and an eighth on the thickness. Now a lot of sawyers out there, when they saw four quarter, they'll do an inch and a sixteenth. I like to do an inch and an eighth. That gives you a little bit more meat on the bone after kiln drying to flatten it down. That's just my preference. There's really no wrong way. That's just an eighth of an inch. That's just a sixteenth of an inch difference on most guys. So I go a little bit thicker and it really don't matter in the end of the day. So when it comes to cherry friends, there's a few things I like to do. I grade saw it. I look for my best face. I open that up. I get a few boards off all four faces and then we kind of see what we got left. I get rid of the pith because it's junk and I get rid of the sapwood either during the sawing process or I edge those off the boards at the very end because sapwood and cherry dries a lot faster than heartwood and that will cause a lot of defects when air drying or kiln drying. So you want, you want to get rid of sapwood and cherry. It gives you contrast on the sides, but I don't like it. I like just the pure look of cherry and you'll have a lot better success on cherry if you get rid of it and get rid of the pith. The pith and cherry is maybe the worst pith 
on any species of logs out there, or trees rather. It just cracks something awful. A few quick things here, friends, and we'll get started. Number one, I'm running the Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7 on the wood miser today. And I was also notified by a few buddies of mine up in Indianapolis at Woodmiser that this month only, and if you're watching this video in the future, it's not going to count. This is August of 2023. From August the 1st until August 30th, I believe, if I got my dates right. If I don't, I'll put it right here. Woodmiser is doing 15% off on double hard blades and free shipping. So for you guys that like double hard blades, now is a good time to buy them. You get 15% off plus free shipping. And they're not paying me to tell you guys none of this. They're not sponsoring this video or nothing like that. I'm just trying to save you guys some money out there. So uh, holler at Woodmiser if you want to try those out this month. That's, that's pretty good savings. I shipped out some boards to some customers a few days ago. And the shipping right now in this country for like UPS and stuff has just gotten ridiculous. It's got really high. So if you can get free shipping, I'd jump on it.
right, friends, had to take a small break because the batteries and all my cameras are getting low. Gotta switch those out. I drug this board back and it may need the sapwood taken off, but I thought it would be a good one for, you guessed it, you guys see the bucket right there. We're gonna throw some water on it. So about three videos back, maybe it was longer than that, I can't remember anymore. I told you guys my bucket had a hole in it. Well, my good friend Joe Main came up here and took me out to lunch the other day. He was up here making some uh, blade deliveries in this area and he brought me a new bucket. But guess what happened? Look at that crack right there. We had a storm last night and guess what it did? It grabbed this bucket and threw it halfway across the hay field. I think it'll work for now, but I'm gonna need a new one sooner than later. Hello ladies, how y'all doing today? You enjoying this weather? You're over here in the shade, aren't you? I don't blame you one bit, it's too hot out here, ain't it? I've been saying that all day. Maybe somebody believe me. All right, friends, we're gonna do something different this time. Since it's a nice sunny day, let's put this one out in the sun. I think it'll show up better. This right here is bringing back memories back to about 2016, 2017. I used to do this outside all the time. Here we go. Well, that went pretty good except for one thing. About a fourth of that water went down my boot. My goodness. See how we did. One good thing about it, no metal. This was in a fence row and this is the butt cut of the tree and I thought I might hit some metal in it, but no metal so far. We may hit some metal when we get closer to the juvenile wood and toward the pith. So far so good. Let's take this first slab off and see what we got. 